Hey, welcome back. It's still National Poetry Month. Today is April the 13th, Friday the 13th. And today I'm going to be reading a poem from Nikki Grimes. I got to meet Nikki Grimes just a month ago and it was absolutely amazing. She's a, a phenomenal author. Her book Bronx Masquerade really blew me away. I deeply loved it. Today I'm going to be reading the prologue from her book Words with Wings. Prologue. Mom loves angels. Their pinked cheek faces peek from pictures on every wall in every room. So, surprise, Mom decided to call me Angel. Dad said, enough already. He didn't want his kid named after some silly, weak-looking chubby cherub. He wanted a strong name for his girl to take out into the world. Mom is stubborn, though. She flipped through the Bible, found a few fierce angels, and tried again. What about naming her after Gabriel? He was so fierce, people fainted at the very sight of him. That's all Dad needed to hear. I love the simplicity of the way she tells stories through her poetry. This poem charms and delights me, both for its sense of contrast, but also the idea of names and where names come from. It's such an important idea. The process of choosing names for my own children felt like a very powerful and meaningful experience. When we choose names, we usually choose names that are significant to what we hope and wish for the person we're naming. Something that fits. For my first son, I named him after two heroes who were good with words and able to stand up strong even when they were very young. My daughter, I named after the best daughter in literature. And my two other sons, my wife named after special members of our family. Names carry weight and legacy, and I love the way she describes that discussion about how to name this child. You should definitely check out Nikki Grimes' work because it's really, really fantastic. Thanks for watching. You can click to subscribe or to watch another video, and I will see you tomorrow with another poem. Bye.